Hello, welcome back everyone, and welcome to the lesson four. So in the lesson three, we talked about in order to write useful programs, we almost always need the ability to check conditions and change the behavior or the flow of the program accordingly. We also described um, what flow control is and which is actually controlling the flow of the execution of our program. In more sophisticated scripts and programs, we probably have more complex structures in our program. So we also described that there are three types of um, um, flow control structure in Python that includes the loops, branches, and functions. And in lesson three, we already covered the branches and loops. And for functions, we will talk about it in this video. By definition, a function is actually a block of code which only runs when it is called. So you can pass your data known as parameters into the functions, and a function will then return you the result. So a function is actually a very powerful and useful block that you can reuse it um, from time to time, which perform specified functions. Um, the main reasons that we want to create a function is because we or others can reuse it in different programs. So there are two types, of, in general, there are two types of functions that one is the built-in function. So for example, the print function, the uppercase function, the lowercase function that we mentioned before, and then the user-defined functions. For user-defined function, it's more like you create some functions for you or other programmers to use later on. So there are three elements that we should um, that that we that just with use three elements we can build a function that include the def function name and also the run brackets. Let us create a very simple countdown functions. Right here, you can see that we just need to type in the def and then the function name. Uh, say for example, countdown, and then give a one bracket and then colon and that's it this is a, a simple setup of the function so for example if we would like to pass a parameters into it and then just do an integer um, integer functions to to make sure that the variable is an integer and then say for example right here if x is less than zero green uh, please provide a positive number. So, and then else, while x is larger than zero, okay, just bring now x and then x equals to x minus one. That's it. This is very simple functions that we will have in order for us to count down. So let's count down from n to one. You can see the results right here. This is very simple. Um, what this function is that we just pass these arguments um, into these functions and this is the function setup and uh, every time in order for you to define functions you have to um, use the def def and then you give a name of your functions and then you um, you pass a you, you can pass a parameters or not pass a parameters uh, it depends on um, what kind of functions that you have but yeah definitely you need to have the run brackets okay so everything inside this function is just uh, uh, one level of the indentations so um, in this function we try to turn these uh, numbers into an integer to make sure this is an integer and then if x is less than zero that means if x is negative so please provide positive number because we would like to make a countdown um, so and then else that means if x is not negative so that means x is positive or positive or equals to zero. So as long as x is larger than zero, we will go into this loop. So um, say for example, um, we just pass a 10 to it. So because x is not, uh, 10 is larger than zero and then we print out the 10 right here. And then 10 will minus one, x will minus one, 10 minus one and then nine, we will update back it to the loop and then nine, 
x seven six five four phi two one until the x is no longer and when we pass this one one minus one is equal to zero x is no longer larger than zero that means the um the while loop is uh, uh, is broken so right now this is a very simple function countdown function so uh, we also can return the result to the um um, beyond or outside this uh, function. So we can just return the x values and then x, the value of x is captured by the assignment of this countdown function. So we can print out the x right here. Okay, so you can see that it's the, this is the zero. Here, I also would like to mention about the global variable and also local variable, because the x is a is with these these functions. So that means if you do not return this x from this local local area or local regions, um, these are, in, at this side you will not get the value of x. Say for example, right here, if we not return the x. Um, we should probably cannot get any value from the x. You can see that uh, this is just none. There's nothing. Okay. On the other hand, um, so that means if you would like to return a local variable right here, you have to use a return function. Also, um, on the other hand, there's a global variable. If you set something outside um, this function, that is a global value. A global variable. So, for example, y is equals to one or one. This is the global variable, and then this one x is actually a local variable because we just um, because we use the return function to return this local back to the global environment. So, right here, you can see that we did not pass this value into um, these functions. However, we still can get the value um, inside this function because this is a global variable. So, you can see that the 101 is um, inside this function. One last thing that I would like to mention is that the importance of the order of the uh, is is all order of the code because um, Python program is that uh, it will run your code line by line from the top to the bottom. So if you if if we just um, cut these um, functions back in here uh, on top of the functions, I mean cut the main main parts of the code um, before the functions, you can see that the countdown um, doesn't work. Because you can see that name countdown is not defined because at at these area at these area so countdown is not happening before so what functions or or, or what um so this is one of the reason why we call it, we call it a branch or um so similar types um that the the functions can help to control the flow of the program so right here actually the code already. I mean, actually, Python already executed this code, but we cannot see that. So as a result, this is very important. You can see most of the programmers just put their function at the top of the program. So that's the end of this lesson. I hope you have, right now, you have a better understanding of the user-defined functions. And hope to see you soon again. Bye-bye.